Hey man, it's uh, it's time. Are we? You know, it's it's the next video's up. Are you gonna you gonna make it? You gonna record? What are you doing? Fishing? What do you mean fishing? You know what time it is. All right. Well, let me come out and see what you're doing. You doing any good? Just, I mean, all right. I guess that's all right. I'll be right there. So, made it to the pond to see what was so important that he couldn't make it to film. Caleb, what are you doing? Dude, I'm fishing. I'm tired of it. Doing any good? Dude, check the ice chest. Let's see. Full. Oh, dang. This is just beer. Oh, look how big this one is. Oh, guys, look. Got another one. Look. Oh, dang. Oh, holy <laughs> crap. Look at that. Whoa. Look Jeez. at that. Give a man a beer, he'll drink for a day. Teach a man to fish, and he'll drink forever. All right. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Beer is Good. Huh? Maybe today we went crazy a little bit i guess we usually we do a pick six Lurged. yeah we have some you know two dollar beers three dollar beers on the high side and we make a six pack uh we shoot three episodes with that six pack you know two beers per episode today we went off the rails a little bit uh these are a little bit bigger this one is a pint and six ounces this one is a pint and 0.9 ounces so it's a little more um this one's fairly expensive for one beer. This one's really expensive for one beer. <laughs> um, so we're gonna do a taste test of these expensive craft beers. I guess, are they craft beers? Yeah. Yeah. Um, porters, we have a porter and we have a stout. So they're kind of close, you know, mm -hmm. but yeah, these are not $2 beers. These aren't small. We're gonna have to drink a little bit more of this and this than we usually do. So hopefully they're good. Yeah, shame we I'm gonna go with first? the Moylans. The Moylans. <clears throat> All right. Chelsea Moylan Porter. Here you go, man. What do you gonna say about uh, that? Let's read it here. Uh, looks <coughs> like Chelsea Moylan's Porter. <laughs> the Irish brewers of Dublin brewed the Porter style until the mid '70s, and we here at Moylans have decided to revive the classic brew. Porter is rich, robust porter, cleverly crafted to integrate the aromas and fla flavors of espresso coffee malt, bittersweet chocolate malt, inspired by founder's daughter, Chelsea. Ooh. We hope to begin Probably a high. new tradition of brewing. Isn't it farmer's daughters that are always, you know, just yeah. promiscuous? <laughs> no, uh, preacher's preacher daughters. Preacher daughters. Preacher daughters. Yeah, that too. Uh, what if they're both? They are <laughs> really a whore. <laughs> An American Irish style porter that any black beer lover will enjoy. Ooh, Dark. black beer lover. It's like motor oil in there. <laughs> That's you, Bob. You got the thing, the jigger. Oh, yeah. Pop a time. Oh, oh yeah. Man. Drop oh. it right in there. And there's spewed. foam going everywhere. It spewed really you hard. I just have to. No, no, no. Get on the table. Get on the table. That's what the table's for. Okay. All right. Yeah. There we go. We just got foamy. It. We're all crowned it. It smells, wow, like chocolate. It smells it's it's like it is. that coffee and chocolate malt. Yeah, you, you can And it literally yeah, only it smells like that. So I'm going to fill these up pretty high. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and so we're going to actually get two glasses. Yeah, so like I said, hopefully these don't suck a big fat wing. We're, we're a little can't pour any of it out. It sucks. That's a, that's a big bottle to pour out. a shot right in the mouth. I mean, whether you like it or not, this is crazy. <laughs> Take a load to the face. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> gurgle that one. I told God, you it is that. everywhere. It smells like Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It's very accurate. I told you that joke. Uh, uh, oh, was, ice cream. Let's get into this sure. thing. Oh, man. Oh, dude. I went for a big drink, guys. I did, too. Well, I didn't go that way. I'm a fan. <clears throat> yeah, dude. I don't like, like that taste. Uh, it's what's well, oh, the chocolate chocolate. Yeah, I get coffee in there. Yeah, I got well, lots of got, coffee. Yeah, it's got the chocolate being coffee. A, being a porter, it is very coffee. And, oh, man. <clears throat> How much was this one? You bought this one. Uh, I think it was five dollars. Maybe six. Bad. I mean, for the amount of beer, it's not that bad. No. Some of the ones we put in our six packs cost that much. Yeah, I guess you're right. 
I was not expecting that first drink. That was not too bad. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good. A second drink's not not near as bad. The first drink is really good. This, yeah. yeah. this, this really good. reminds me of um, there was a while back. Shiner did a, a birthday beer for themselves. It was like their anniversary or whatever. That was nice. And it was called. Um, it was like birthday cake, and it tasted like birthday cake. Oh, and this kind of tastes. Was like it an ale? Yeah. Birthday it was just cake like this. Yeah. Hmm. This kind of tastes like birthday cake. I topped myself off, guys. Hmm? I topped myself off. We got another drink. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, you already emptied? Yeah, I like it. I'm not waiting. Like it. It's pretty good. I know we were chugging. Uh, it reminds me of a mocha. Like, if you go to McDonald's or Starbucks, you, know, you order a brews. Yeah. It tastes like a mocha. Um, chocolate coffee. Not a lot of really beer flavor until the aftertaste. Oh, I guess yeah. the aftertaste is kind of beery. It's got the carbonation of beer. Yeah, it does have the carbonation of beer. I'm getting the burpees. Yeah. But <clears throat> not the CrossFits. Not the CrossFit things. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Found told it. You, told you it was there. I got beer all over the table. <laughs> I'm going to smell like a brewery after this. Dude, we probably got enough to like top ourselves off three times, don't we? Well, not the case one more time. It looks like some lumps in there. Oh, you probably don't have that much, actually. You like the chunkies. Nah. You like getting chunked in your mouth. Just take it. Oh yeah. Take it all. Take it. Take like that, that is take all. Take it all you dirty. There it is. There it is. Woo! I'm a fan. Um dark chocolate, coffee flavored, not a lot of beer flavored. Not much beer at all, honestly. I mean no. and it's it's only five percent alcohol by volume, so I mean the whole bottle. The whole, yeah, that's not really a whole <laughs> lot. You get if you think about it, I mean we, a lot. we drink a lot like a, a twelve ounce. You know, they had 17% alcohol by volume, so talking a lot. <clears throat> it's like that Utah beer I just had last week. Freaking yeah. Statewide, yeah. state law, 3.2% off the tab. Awesome. Pictures on our Facebook, by the way. Yes. Check that out. Pretty good. Yeah. Good pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll finish this. I'm a fan. Get into yeah. that. I bet that one's going to be. This one's in a box. Rich. I don't know if y'all have ever seen a beer in a box. I haven't seen a beer in a box, so I bought it today. Um, yeah. Do you get wines in boxes or whiskey? Whiskey, yeah. Yeah, and this one's aged in the whiskey barrel, so I guarantee it's going to be be just <clears throat> like that, that rich. And by the way, we have actually had these out of the fridge for a little over an hour. Mm -hmm. Get them up to room temperature, um, just kind of to re release all the aromas. Mm -hmm. When they're cold, get the it's cool kind of flavor. It's kind of, yeah, yeah, it's kind of condensed. You don't really get as much flavor. Um, that's why Coors Light wants you to drink it as cold as the Rockies because right. it tastes like piss. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when the mountains aren't blue, you gotta throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> but this stuff, you know, you kind of want to drink a little bit warmer. You don't want it to be super cold, so we let it out. <clears throat> it, it was really good. Uh, I'm a big fan. Uh, I liked it. I'm really hoping this one doesn't let us down. Uh, it took me a couple of drinks to get used to, but I'm really mm -hmm. like it's it's better. It's a chocolate beer. It's, it's chocolate coffee. We like, probably don't even need to film this one. I mean, it's, no, we all do. <laughs> So, finish that little swaller. Uh, you want to introduce the next one? Let's do it. All right, next we got the Rogue, Rogue Rolling Thunder Imperial Stout of 2019. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get it closer uh, really quick. Nah, it's fine. But this is Rogue, which is our thing. Like, I don't know if we love it. Yeah, every episode we mention Rogue sometime. Can you this see This is the one of their things. things. Yeah, there's Rogue all up there. One, two, <coughs> we'll count. three. Four down there. Yeah, four? Is that four up there? Weaker than I thought. Yeah. Uh, we've tried a lot more. Uh, they're not up there, Ted. We just drink them throughout the, throughout the week. Throughout the week, yeah. yeah. We do drink a lot of rope. <laughs> uh, but anyway, go ahead. Anyway, this is a limited release. It's been aged nine months in a whiskey barrel. Um, it says, our Rolling Thunder Imperial Stout was aged nine months in a handmade Rolling Thunder barrel. Works. Barrel works barrels previously used to our. It, it actually says that he's not retarded. Dead guy. <laughs> one of a to, kind be of to be debated. <laughs> this one of a kind imperial staff can be enjoyed right away or cellar for years. Either way, it's best shared among friends. There's a lot more crap on the back. I'm going to give it a quick read. <clears throat> Rolling Thunder Barrel Works is our barrel making operation located in the Rogue Brewery and Distillery in Newport, Oregon. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is the only farmer, brewer, distiller, cooper in the country. We plain, trim, joint, hoop, hammer, bend, toast, crows, bevel, shape, saw, sand, cauterize, and char <laughs> our, our organ oak <laughs> yeah. effort to produce. 
So one barrel each day. You make one barrel, barrel a day? That's one terrible. barrel a day. How many employees does that take? <laughs> I don't know. I just read way too much crap for this to not say anything. <laughs> I want to work and make one barrel a day. <laughs> Rolling Thunder is a symbol of our dedication to doing it ourselves and staying true to our Oregon roots. I'm a little more depressed about drinking this because of all that stupidity I just read. But if you want one of these, it is $15 per bottle. American. Yeah, American. <laughs> it's real. Um, I'll just say it. We got it at Soda and Liquor in Fort Smith. Um, they don't know it yet, but the they're going to sponsor us. Yeah. This is the unboxing. Number this is one. the unboxing. This is everything. We've never seen the inside of this box. We've never opened it. It's going to be filled with hay or something. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't wax dip the lid or anything. All right, no, they didn't wax dip the lid, but it does have like actual sharpie marks. <laughs> Where <laughs> bottle 17 of 31. Oh, do you understand what that means? No, they only made 31. No, 97 barrel 17 of 31. 97 bottle. of 413. Yeah, bottle. Wow, that's actually handwritten with sharpie. You can actually smudge. Yeah, and we got the first 25 percent off the line. See, here it is. I don't know if you can see the actual hand sharpie drop it. right there. Oh, please. Hey, there's a Christmas tree in the back. Oh, oh, there's a Christmas tree in the back? Here's the back. This is the lid? <laughs> <laughs> but this is a $15 bottle of beer. If that's what you want to do, I, I guess it would be good for like a party, special occasion, something. Yeah. A christening? Oh, dear <laughs> Lord. I actually spent $15 on this guy's it kind of sucks. You could get that for a circumcision. That's pretty fancy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically, says the same thing we read over there. Wow, they really didn't go over the top on this. It literally says the same thing on the bottle that it did on the box. But it's a Christmas tree. But it's a Christmas tree on there. Farmer, brewer, distiller, cooper. Age nine months, whiskey barrel. 13% al alcohol. Let's foam this one in the trash. Dude. Don't foam this one in the trash. It's so expensive. I don't know how that one got foamed up. Oh, okay, so it's cracked. Oh my god. This is $15 down the Dude, I'm telling you. If it's good, we can try doing it more often. All right. Wow. It's like motor oil. Line. Yeah, dude. It out. That is, I mean, that is just like motor oil. It's thicker it, than... Look, it I'll pour this one up here. You can see. Like, you can f see how thick this is. Right. Whoa. I just want to put it in my mouth. But the foam is even thick, like. Right. Look how black the foam is. A differential fluid. Mm-hmm. Burnt. Mm. There's a little more in there. Is there enough to top <clears throat> level us up, or is there going to be the doubles? I don't know. We might have to get a little bit of a double somewhere. Ooh. Nah. Let the foam, let the right to the crest of the breast. <laughs> no, look, there's like no more in there. It's leaking? Yeah, it just run down the side. Yeah, it's down the side. This is 13% alcohol. Don't finger it. I'll try to get that foam down. No! There's like a little swaller left. I'll, nice. I'll slosh that in a second. All right, this is what you get if you That's get a full cup of beer, a fifteen dollar bottle of beer. Good lord! And granted, it's not a twelve ounce bottle; it is a little bigger. <clears throat> you can't see light through it. But if through. you share it with three people, you get about six ounces. Yeah. Of black motor oil. What if they actually just put motor oil in there? <laughs> I guess <laughs> we'll find out. Yes, we are. It's gonna be like uh, you know grandma's castor oil and make you have to go poop. That's what it is. <laughs> they tricked us. Let's test it separately. Hold on. Let's get his opinion. Okay. Ooh. It's stronger than that. <laughs> yeah? It tastes it's like got whiskey. the whiskey in it. Yes, it does. Really? Yep. All right. Every bit of it. I'll go. Soaked up the barrel. <clears throat> tastes like that, oh. but with a lot of alcohol in it. Guys, you can yeah. feel the alcohol go down. You can feel it. <laughs> it it's like that with alcohol in it. Yeah. I'm like, a fan. I love it. If you put this on ice, oh my god, it's good. Cold. Or oh, you slurped it. It is just, Dude. just as described. Yeah. But yeah, you can taste the alcohol oh, in it. Wow. It's like a coffee whiskey. Oh, that gets me. So now you gotta take a big sip. That's what you did to get one. I wonder what it'd be like to drink a whole one of these. Dude. I'll, I wouldn't do it on an empty stomach. No. It would give you heartburn from hell. <laughs> it would. It, it really would. would. That would hurt you. 
<laughs> oh my. Dude, I'm glad I bought this. I am too. I was so scared this was going to be a bust and we were going to try to vomit. But it's really not bad. It's yeah. pretty good. It tastes like. Take a bigger sip. It's just more, it tastes like a coffee whiskey kind of thing. Like. Ooh. Really sweet chocolate. <laughs> it's way different. <laughs> Swish it in you your mouth. Oh, I'll no. I'll I don't know if I can do that. Gurgle it. <laughs> you get all the flavor that way. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> You have to you have to take all the different tasting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's dude, when you when, <coughs> when you, it up. When, when, when you roll. agitate it, you get everything. <laughs> everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna throw <coughs> it foams up when you oh, <laughs> like do that. And, oh gosh. Do that one more time. <laughs> it foams up really bad. Do it, Caleb. Just do it. Right, yeah. Slosh it. Do it. It's different. No, don't do that thing. It, it does when you when you agitate it you and you swish it up. It, it almost it. gets coffee or mm. cough syrupy. Yeah, mm. listerine it now. Swallow. It foams up in there, doesn't it? Yeah, dude. <laughs> He's gonna <laughs> vomit. Oh, the vomit comment. Ooh, the foam is where all the smell and you just like fill your whole mouth up with. Yeah. It. Yes. You can taste oh. it in your nose. Oh. Yes. I'm glad it didn't come shooting out my nose. <laughs> dude, this is awesome. Mm. I'm a really big yeah, fan of this. It's definitely something you take to a party and you yes. hand it out and yeah. like, hey, try this. Take a shot yeah, and definitely. it blows everybody's mind. Kind of like a head done up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Head exploded. <clears throat> Keep in mind, this is an Imperial Stout. It's not a whiskey, but it tastes very much like whiskey. Mm -hmm. It feels like whiskey. Mm -hmm. It has right. a little bit of whiskey taste. Yeah. You can taste the barrel. It has definitely yeah, exactly. I can the taste the barrel. The oak. Yeah. yeah. So that's really nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, now that I tasted it, <clears throat> I do like that there's kind of a simplicity to the description. Mm -hmm. It really is simple. You there's like not a thousand a, words in there. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it all said the same thing, kind of. It's about a barrel, basically. Right, right. And, and right. there's not a really a lot going on in this. Um, it's kind of like a coffee whiskey. Yeah. It's not crazy over the top flavor. <clears throat> it's not a kick you in your face flavor. No. Like to me, this one was really tootsie rolly and sweet. Right. Um, this one was a little more subtle and it calm. Is it yeah. does have a stronger alcohol presence. But if you sip it, it's not as bad. Yeah, if you sip it, like, we obviously drink, we all had two cups of this. We yeah. have not even finished one cup of this stuff. Right. Um, just because of the alcohol percentages. You can feel it go all the way down. Yeah. <clears throat> and for a beer, which is kind of the general category for this, <clears throat> that's crazy. Josh, special guest guess. wife. Special guest wife. God, yeah, I'm kind of talking good it. about this beer. You're over here struggling. And that's, yeah, <laughs> you're ruining the it's, dialogue. It's, it's the flavor. <laughs> it's dense. It is very right. thick. It is, yeah, it's it dense. Is. I mean, it like, it, 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 you can feel it burning all the way down our new shirts and everything. I mean, it's just like, <laughs> yeah, you can feel the merch. it all the way in here. It's, I like, just, I mean, that's all it is. It just, well, you it gets a good burn. Yeah, yeah it, wasn't a, it wasn't a bad, like, Shake. It was no. like it's it like a cricket that hops down. I mean, it's just real. It's like, yeah. Whoa! Like, what are you putting inside <laughs> of me? Do we so this is our celebrity guest, Seth's wife. Got our bottles. We had to get her in here. I don't have to just drink the whole thing. Like no, just take a sip. No, I'll finish the rest of it. Alcohol. Like stinky Coke. <laughs> well, it's coffee and stinky Coke, and it's not nice. It's nasty. <laughs> Special guest eliminated. I get out. <laughs> All right, so we're back with Casey's wife, Bethany. Um, so, this is a beer. It's fifteen dollars a bottle. Um, <laughs> the beer for a beer. It's a Rogue. Mm -hmm. It's Rogue, our favorite brand. Um, let's see what you think. It's super strong. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's about the face. <laughs> Same kind of face. It's not bad. I like that first little. Bite to it, but it's good. A little burning, like yeah, kind of like whiskey. Yeah, uh, yeah we kind of said it's kind of like a coffee whiskey. Yeah, like I a, like it though. Yeah, <clears throat> I think it also Casey doesn't have any. You oh drink it up. <laughs> no. I have to drive home. So yeah, don't do that. <laughs> so, what do you think overall? And thumbs up, down. Thumbs up. Yes. Good, pretty good. Like Would it. you recommend it to a first timer? First timer, no. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't like, well, what if you don't like beer? If, you don't, if like, you don't like beer and you want to get into craft beers, would this be somewhere you could go that doesn't taste like beer? Yeah, it definitely doesn't taste like beer. I mean, yeah. Okay. 
he has Caleb's wife who wants to try the fifteen dollar beer. Well, you see, she got a belly. Uh, she is pregnant right now, so that's probably not going to happen. Oh yeah, that was Sorry. all stage and that was made up. We knew that. Girl number two. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Girl, yeah. girl dad. number two. Yeah. yeah. Hashtag girl dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's finish this up, close this out. Mine's gone. Everybody's yeah, in. They, they, they killed do. me. So you see this? Nobody is drinking a drink that large. And here it comes. Oh, wow. This is going to hurt. Oh, that was almost chug effect. Mm. Actually, that was the best it's ever been. Really? Straight yeah. down. Word. I'm a big fan. Let us know in the comments if y'all like the regular pick six selections that we're getting, or if y'all want to see more of the higher end things, <clears throat> yeah. or to us higher end. I don't know. Y'all want to be ballers out there. Yeah, what is yeah. high end? Right. right. This is high end for us, dude. We're I just, mean, even at the store, fifteen dollars is kind of the top right. for one bottle. That's what the whole six pack. So costs. yeah, that's well, we're getting a whole, whole six pack out of that, dude. We're, um, we're just good with these out here. Special occasions. This is gonna be awesome. Yeah. I think I would buy another bottle of this. Keep it. In the I would like to have this at Christmas. I'm telling you, definitely. Yeah, yes. take it to the next. Yeah. Yeah. Take I mean, it to your next circumcision for real. <laughs> Thank you for watching. This episode of Beer strong. is Good. Let us know in the comments if you like this, if you like the expensive ones, you want us to go back to the regular old everyday guy kind of things. Uh, or if you think we're stupid. Hey, if they we already <laughs> think that. <laughs> they know. We think that. They know that. Like, like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you. We'll see you next time on Beer is Good. <laughs>